Mark Homan and I'm an ambassador for USM and today I'm going to talk about how to perform the bent over row correctly. This is an exercise that I see performed very poorly in many, many gyms that I teach in. So, how do we do this? First thing we want to do is create a nice sturdy base. We do this by placing one knee on the bench and on the same side we place our hand also on the bench. This is to stop us falling over this way and to stop us falling over this way. Next thing we're going to look at is how we have our back. Now it's important our back isn't curved. This is poor form and can also lead to injury. So we need to create a nice flat platform as if we're a tabletop. Once we've created that flat, flat platform, we then need to look at how we're going to move the weight itself. Now it's important we place the weight slightly in front of our head. And the best way to think about that is when you're performing the movement, we want to look at trying to recreate the movement of sawing a piece of wood. We want to isolate that latissimus dorsi as our major muscle group. We place our hand on the weight, and what we do, we pull the weight from that forward position into the armpit, so that our elbow is running right next to the side of the body. We lower, we lift into the armpit, and we lower. It's really important that we look at how we um, move that movement. It's got to be slow. We work slowly on the concentric, which is the shortening, and we work even more slowly on the eccentric, which is the lengthening. This creates bigger muscle density because the muscle is working throughout the whole movement. We'll go through that once more. We place the weight slightly forwards. We come back into the armpit and we release. Back into the armpit and we release, making it a nice, slow, fluid movement. I hope you understood how we do that correctly. This is how I perform the movement and you'll find that probably every USN ambassador does exactly the same. I hope that clears it up for you.